Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, composite shape that consists of a bunch of rectangles, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, yellow rectangle is uh, 26, the area of this uh, white rectangle is 8, the area of this uh, pink rectangle is uh, 7, and the area of this uh, blue rectangle is uh, 15. And moreover, this uh, horizontal uh, side length uh, of this uh, pink uh, rectangle is uh, 3. Whereas uh, this uh, vertical uh, side length uh, of this uh, big shape is uh, 8 uh, units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different uh, approaches to solve this given uh, problem. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And now let me share with you the very first uh, method. And since we are interested in uh, calculating the area of this uh, green uh, rectangle, and now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula, area equals to length uh, times width. So that means uh, we are going to figure out uh, this uh, width and this uh, length uh, of this uh, green uh, rectangle. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, two rectangles, the pink uh, and the white ones. So their combined area is going to be 7 plus 8 is going to give us uh, 15. And the area of this uh, blue rectangle is 15 uh, as well. And since uh, this uh, side length is same, uh, for both of these uh, rectangles. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, side length. So therefore, we conclude that uh, if uh, this uh, pink rectangle is uh, 7, then this uh, split uh, rectangle is going to be 7 as well. And just keep in mind that if this is uh, 7, then uh, this uh, rest of the area is going to be 8 for this uh, split uh, rectangle. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, shaded uh, rectangle. This combined area is going to be 7 plus 7 is going to give us uh, 14. And we know that this uh, side length of this uh, shaded rectangle is uh, 3. So we can easily figure out uh, this uh, side length by using uh, this uh, rectangle area formula. Area in our case is 14. 14 equal to our uh, length is uh, 3 times uh, width. So width is going to be simply 14 uh, divided by 3. So that means uh, this uh, side length uh, is going to be 14 uh, divided by 3. If this side length uh, is uh, 14 divided by 3, then uh, this uh, side length is going to be 14 uh, divided by 3 as well. And now we know that this uh, whole uh, length uh, is uh, 8 and this uh, length uh, is 14 divided by 3. So therefore, uh, this uh, side length is going to be 8 minus uh, 14 divided by 3. And here I have copied these uh, numbers down over here. When we simplify them, it turns out to be 10 uh, divided by 3. So therefore, uh, this uh, side length uh, of this green rectangle turns out to be 10 divided by 3. And now let's focus on this uh, big uh, rectangle that consists of uh, these uh, three individual uh, rectangles whose area is uh, 26, 8 uh, and 8 over here. If we add these one, 8 plus 26 uh, plus 8 is going to give us uh, 42. Now we can see the area of this uh, rectangle uh, is uh, 14 and this uh, is uh, 42. So that means the ratio is uh, 1, 2, 3. That means if this is 1, then this uh, is going to be 3. And now we know that this is uh, 3 units. So therefore, uh, this uh, side length for this rectangle is going to be 3 times 3 is going to give us uh, nine uh, units so therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, turns out to be nine if this side length is nine then uh, this uh, side length uh, of this uh, green rectangle is going to be a nine 
units as well and now let's go ahead and uh, apply this uh, area of rectangle formula our uh, length is uh, 9 and our width uh, for this uh, green rectangle is 10 divided by 3 so therefore area of this green rectangle is going to be 9 times uh, 10 uh, divided by 3 and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 30 so thus the area of this uh, green rectangle turns out to be 30 square units and now let me share with you the second uh, method and once again just keep in your mind that this uh, combined uh, area for both of these uh, rectangles is uh, 15 and this is a uh, 15 as well so therefore these uh, two side lengths uh, are uh, same and in this uh, next step I have divided uh, this uh, yellow rectangle into two parts and we can see that this uh, length is same as uh, this length so therefore uh, this part area is going to be same as uh, this area so therefore the split area for this part is going to be 13 and this one uh, 13 uh, as well and now let's focus on this uh, shaded uh, rectangle that is going to be the sum of this uh, 8 and 13 8 plus 13 is going to give us 21 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, pink uh, rectangle is 7 and this uh, shaded rectangle is 21 so their ratio is 1 to 3 if this is a 3 then this uh, length uh, side length is going to be 3 times 3 is going to give us uh, 9 and now if this side length is 9 uh, then uh, this whole uh, side length is going to be 9 units uh, as well and now in this uh, next step I have divided uh, this uh, blue rectangle into two parts then we can see that this uh, split uh, rectangle is going to be same uh, as this one so this is going to be 7 and this uh, rest of the this blue rectangle is going to be 15 minus 7 is going to give us uh, 8 and now let's focus on this uh, shaded uh, rectangle whose uh, side lengths are uh, 8 and this uh, side length uh, is uh, 9 units so therefore the area of this uh, big rectangle is going to be we are going to use this uh, area of rectangle formula once again length time width so our dimensions are uh, 9 and 8 if we multiply the area of this uh, big rectangle is going to be 9 uh, times 8 uh, is going to give us uh, 72 now let's make an observation this whole bigger rectangle uh, consists of these uh, four rectangles this uh, yellow rectangle uh, this uh, green uh, rectangle this white uh, rectangle and this uh, blue split uh, rectangle now let's assume that the area of this uh, green rectangle is uh, x then the combined uh, area in this uh, big rectangle is going to be 26 plus uh, 8 plus 8 again and then plus x let me go ahead and write down uh, 26 plus 8 plus 8 plus x and if we add these numbers that's going to give us 42 plus x now let's go ahead and compare this one area and this one we can equate them so therefore I can write 42 plus x equal to 72 and now let's subtract 42 from both sides this is gone so therefore our x value turns out to be 30 so therefore uh, the area of this uh, green rectangle uh, turns out to be 30 square units so thus the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle uh, turns out to be 30 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye